Hello friends, my name is Aditya and today we will see how to calculate the input impedance of a BJT. So let's begin. So before starting, uh, let's talk about how to calculate input impedance of any network. As you know, input impedance is V input divided by I input. So if we place a voltage source Vx and um, the circuit draws current Ix through it, then the input resistance is Vx by Ix. So what are the steps to calculate? So first we have to inactive all the independent source. This is very important to know. We have to deactivate all the independent source only. So we have to short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source. Then we have to put a voltage source Vx where we want to calculate or find the input resistance. And then we have to find the current Ix through voltage source Vx that we have assigned. And finally, our input is calculated as Vx divided by Ix. And <clears throat> let us talk about the R pi model that is the transconductance model of uh, BJT. Any BJT can be converted to AC model that is transconductance model uh, as shown in the figure. The B, C and E terminal are mapped like B, C, E terminal in AC model and this is valid for all the circuits. And here R pi is the resistance seen between base and emitter. P pi is the potential drop at B R pi and GM is the transconductance and R0 is the output resistance uh, of collector terminal and emitter terminal. Generally uh, for simplification of our calculation we don't consider R0. So first example in this circuit we have to find R input that is for step 1 we have to deactivate all the DC source that is this BCC will be inactive so the modified circuit will be like this the bean as it is a AC source it is there and uh, collector terminal is grounded because BCC is 0 step 2 replace the BZT with its AC model that is we have talked about BCE terminal mapping the same circuit is here so what we gonna do we have to find our input so al already there is a V input there and I input is drawn from V input so R input is V input by I input so from this circuit we can write the KV location that is one second Once again, the KV location is V input, then minus I input R pi equal to 0. So, solving V input by I input is equal to input resistance that is R pi. Coming to the next example, suppose we want to find the input resistance seeing from the emitter terminal. Here, it is the input voltage but we are not bothered about the input resistance we want to find the resistance seen from the emitter terminal okay so let's try to solve it the step one will be same inactive all the dc source that is here bcc is the dc source and we have to ground it means inactivate the circuit will be like this but the problem is we want to find the resistance seeing from this point so the main important thing is we have to put a voltage source bx in this point which will draw current ix and we have to deactivate all the independent source here v input is independent that's why we have to make v input inactive that is zero and we have put a voltage source Vx at the emitter terminal. Okay, so simplified circuit will be like this. Here V input is grounded, that, that means inactive, and VCC is also inactive, 
and here we have placed a voltage source Vx and it draws a current Ix. So R input is that is Rx seeing from the emitter terminal is Vx by Ix. So step 3 replace the VZT by its AC model. Now what we have to do? First we have to write the KCL equation. Here the current is Gm V pi and it is Ix. So using KCL incoming current equal to outgoing current. So these two currents are incoming and outgoing current is I. So I equal to Ix plus Gm V pi. Again we can write the KBL equation that is Vx minus I into R pi because we are going in the direction of I that is minus i into r pi equal to 0 but we have found that i equal to ix plus gm v pi so replacing this we get vx minus bracket ix plus gm v pi whole into r pi equal to 0 but the thing is that we have to find vx by ix here the term is vx here we have the term ix but here no vx or ix term so we have to get a vx or ix term so we can see that v pi and vx form another KVL loop so vx plus v pi is equal to 0 that means v pi equal to vx we have to put equation 2 in equation 1 that is vx minus ix minus gm vx into r pi equal to 0 so solving we get rx equal to vx by ix that is 1 divided by gm plus 1 by r pi so we will see the next question in this question uh, there is a bzt with unbypassed re and uh, sometimes it is called uh, degenerating re model uh, where the emitter resistance is not bypassed so it is a degenerating circuit and we have to find v in from input source so solution step one is inactive dc source that is bcc will be inactive zero step two replace the bjt by ac model here the whole bjt is replaced by the ac model sorry uh, actually this is the bjt and this is the bjt okay and input resistance is v in by i in so first we can write the kv location that is v in minus i in into r pi minus i r e equal to 0 but same thing i equal to uh, i in plus gmb pi that is the case location i in plus gmb pi equal to i and also there is a kvl equation uh, anything uh, i in into r pi the voltage drop is v pi here there is a third equation i into r pi equal to v pi so putting two in one we have v in minus i in v in minus i in r pi minus the current is i in plus gm v pi and the voltage drop is multiplied by re and rearranging everything and putting v uh, pi equal to i in r pi uh, we get the equation v in equal to i in whole into r pi plus r e plus r pi r e g m equal to 0 solving v in by i in equal to the input resistance that is r e whole into 1 plus r pi g m plus r pi so the input resistance that we have found out is r pi let us do a further analysis here we found, found out that r in equal to r pi plus 1 plus r pi gm into re so in the uh, next videos i will be talking about the r pi model in detail so for the time being you remember that r pi is beta into re where re is 26 millivolt actually there is an equation it is uh, the voltage uh, which is given by kt by q i will be talking about it in the next videos and uh, you just remember that at 25 degree celsius the re is found out as 26 millivolt divided by ie that is the dc emitter current and gm is given by that is the transconductance is given by 1 by re 
so if we further see that input resistance is r pi plus 1 plus r pi gm into re and r pi plus uh, we put the value of r pi as beta re and gm is 1 by re whole into re so we can see the input resistance is r pi plus 1 plus beta re that means the input impedance as we can see is r pi but the same input current is not flowing through re and we can see it is the reflected impedance of re that is 1 plus beta times re so we can conclude that the emitter emitter resistance reflects to the input side as 1 plus beta times re so and now many a times beta is much much greater than 1 so we can safely assume that input resistance is r pi plus beta re so with this our analysis of input resistance calculation of bjd is complete hope it will help you thank you and please do share and comment uh, to and give positive as well as negative feedback to improve my channel thank you